When I came out of hospital, I was very aware that I was a victim of hate crime um, because of the things that were said during the attack and obviously how I was treated after the attack. I didn't know the full extent of, uh, I don't know, the advice or support that I could get. The police were very vague and very quick to kind of move on in the process. It's really existential fear, you know, fear of, um, of pogroms, uh, fear of their children in town, if they will come back home, you know, safe. In Europe, in a European country, when I came, it was, I should say that it is two kind of uh, uh, hate crimes uh, I have experienced. It is one is uh, governmental hate crimes, I should say it's police violence, and the second is the hate crimes by far-right groups and the extremists. So when I first saw my, uh, my face on a, on a neonatal website, I actually, I was shocked and I thought it was a joke. I thought, I thought it was, was not serious. I didn't, I didn't think that w what was the reason for, for me to appear. And then more and more articles came and it, and it became more serious. I don't know, there's just something changed. I felt vulnerable. Something changed inside me. My self-esteem as a woman changed and my vulnerability as a woman changed. And I've always been a very strong person. And yeah, that, that it changed from that moment onwards. Uh, my, my parents were really scared and it ended up me essentially leaving the country. The, the police were telling me that uh, the two guards, I don't say that all the police, of course, uh, that uh, the two guards that they were in front, of the, in front of the police station, they told me that if you complain, if you make a complaint, we will put you three nights. It is the words that, that they told me that we will put you in detention center. So it was shocking for me, really. These institutions are with people who are succumbing to a kind of irrationality and a desire to to find a scapegoat for their problems. And the Roma have been, for some reason, chosen to be the scapegoat. I think anybody can make a difference, and politicians are in the position to make a difference. But it seems like it's people like me and other people that are speaking for us, that are trying to get the politicians to, to, to see what is actually going on out there. I think Europe's politicians should really say now, stop, we have, to, we have to say values. We shouldn't divide people. Let's not scapegoat or add oil to the fire and instill more hatred so that you get a few more votes. In, in my opinion, as, as my experience from 2002 uh, till now, that it is getting uh, worse, that if the politicians, if the society, if the communities, they take, they don't take uh, steps against these hate crimes, I think it gets worse and worse. I want politicians and uh, policy makers to bring the perpetrators to, to justice and to make examples of, uh, of you cannot just write anything uh, uh, with, a, with a fake name online and, uh, and get away with it. I'd like the politicians and policy makers to recognise that this does happen and that there isn't a great support network out there for people that have gone through what I have been through.